Okay, so today I wanted to share with you guys routines on Dance Moms that I feel like are very underrated either by the fandom or by myself and that I found appreciation for watching again. So first up, we got Chloe, Nobody's Perfect. This is her first solo of season three and I really enjoyed it watching it again. I thought that, you know, the choreography, I liked it for the most part and she actually forgot it at some point and then she just made it up. But, you know, I thought she did great. Her turns are always going to eat. She has excellent technique. So I really enjoyed this one. Another Chloe one is Fox you from season four i'm pretty sure she won her category with this and you know so well deserved and i really like the costuming on this her technique shines through what a great dancer my favorite dancer on the show i like the music for this one a lot as well now on to maddie so first up is uphill battle this was from season three and i really like this solo a lot i was re-watching it i was like you know what i slept on this one hard and this is one of the ones that she got second with i definitely think that she should have won with this one thought it was a great performance I like the song for this and I really like the costuming. She did exactly what had to be done. So uh, underrated moment for Maddie for sure. Another Maddie one I got holding on to this is from season three. And so this is basically the genesis of this video because I made my Maddie solos video and then I was rewatching the show again and I came across this one and I could have died because this is literally one of my favorite Maddie solos and I definitely should have put it in that video. And so I was like, I definitely have to do a video talking about underrated dances on dance homes and I have to throw this one in there somehow because this was such a good moment. I swear I thought the costume for this was green. I just remembered wrong, but I love the costuming on this one. I love the song and her performance for it. It was just so passionate. And this is the one where she performed for Hannah and she gave her her trophy at the end. And my favorite part is like the bridge of the song. And then when she ever, she hits that front aerial and like the second half of this performance, she just kicks into a completely different gear. And yeah, this has to be one of her best solos. I fear she ate this so bad. Yeah, have to give her her tens for this one. Next up, I got Kendall Easy as one, two, three. So this was either from season two or season three. I can't remember, but I thought that this was super entertaining. She used her face. I thought that she hit the choreography really cleanly. Another Kendall one is Just an Illusion. This is from season five. This one got pulled originally and then she did it another week and her having the extra time to work on it, I feel like really benefited her. She gave a really clean performance objectively. Her turns were amazing on this. You know, she nailed them all, especially there's one towards the second half, which I thought was cool. You typically don't see her do that type of turn, which I really enjoyed. She used her face all the way throughout this. I thought that it was a stellar performance. This is one of Kendall's best solos in my opinion. Next up, we got Nia Never Knew from season five. I was glad to see Abby give her more mature choreography. I feel like she deserved a lot more pieces like this. I felt like it was really tastefully done. I love the costuming on this. Definitely got to be one of her best solo. Next up, Back Crazy by Mackenzie, season five. I like the music for it. I thought it was different than the music she typically performs to. And I really like the costuming and, you know, just the performance in general. I thought that she nailed it. Another Mackenzie one, Watch Me Fly from season four. I rewatched this routine the other day and it was really clean, you know, just in terms of her tricks and stuff like that. She landed all of them really well. She had a lot of energy throughout this performance. I like the costuming and like the makeup that she had. She did what she had to do. Next up for Paige, Creme de la Creme season two. I actually think that this is her best solo. I thought it was really entertaining. Paige is great on stage, so I liked it a lot. Next up is Brooke, Purple Rain. Really love this solo, so I wanted to mention it because rewatching it, I appreciate it a lot more. Next up is Cameron, I'm Already Done from season seven. And so I feel like Cameron is so underrated in this fandom, it hurts. Like the moms gave her so much on the show, she doesn't get talked about enough, you know, from my opinion, because she's definitely one of the best dancers to ever be on this show. And what she did with the solo was so good. That front aerial, the emotion, the fluidity in her movements, the musicality, like this was absolutely stellar and we don't talk about it enough. Another Cameron one, Breaking Free. This is also from season seven. Absolutely gorgeous, she ate this one. Next up, we got Giannina. This is from season eight. I'm rewatching season eight. And so I really like this solo. This is called Snowflake. And this is a beautiful, pretty lyrical piece. I thought she did excellent with this one. I didn't see really any mistakes on this. Loved her costuming. She was using her face. This is one that she performed for a grandma. And you can tell that it meant a lot to her. And she just absolutely killed this. So I have to give her a tens. Another Giannina solo from season eight that I really like. This is Big Shot. And I just thought it was really entertaining. Giannina is great on stage. She is my favorite on this one so far. Like not only is her technique on point, she knows how to use her face. She's very fluid. Like she just really has it all. It's no wonder why she was on Broadway. It's no wonder why she danced with Mariah Carey, my favorite artist of all time. Like she just really has it all i feel like she was like one of the best dancers on the team easily definitely my favorite so far next up we got duets so this is Bryn and cameron snapped out from season seven they had so much energy it was a good jazz routine they hit it hard they really did some great partner work on this and they deserve that win next up this is another duet so this is kendall and kalani this is from season six push and pull this is a ballet duet and so jojo was supposed to be in it she pulled out from it and so kalani got thrown into this duet absolutely incredible 
absolutely incredible. Kendall stepped up to the plate. She got her technique on point. Kalani's always going to eat on the stage. And they did what had to be done. Like, this was just so cool in terms of the music. I don't like the costumes. I feel like they just look like two band-aids. But besides that, they ate. They, this is mind-blowing to watch. I really enjoyed it. Next up, this is from season eight. This was Giannina and I believe Presley. And this one is called Munchausen by Proxy, something like that. And yeah, they both absolutely delivered just in terms of their facial expressions. And I feel like they both really worked together well. I like the choreography for this one a lot. Yeah, this was a really, really good duet. And I watched it a few times and like, yeah, it was just mind blowing. Like, yeah, they're both really talented dancers. I really enjoy this routine. Now on to some trios. First up, I got Blackbirds. This is from season seven, I believe. And so this is Kendall, this is Bryn, and then I think that Kalani was also in this routine as well. I really enjoyed it. I thought that they all looked absolutely incredible doing this. I thought it was something that was different. And yeah, when I was rewatching it, I was like, I definitely have to throw this up on my list. Another trio, I got Dancing with the Devil from season eight. And so Giannina was the lead of this trio. I thought that she did an excellent job. And then Savannah and Hannah were in this one. There were some botched turns from Hannah in part of it. And then Giannina, I think, did botch a turn towards the end. But I mean, overall, it's still super entertaining. I like the music. I like the choreography a lot. And so definitely one of the best, you know, dances from season eight that I've seen so far. And I feel like I had to mention it. Now we are on to the group routine. So first up, we got Don't Ask, Just Tell. This was from season three. And so this was basically the one Abby did just saying, like, her support for the LGBT community and stuff like that. When I watched this dance on its own before I rewatched the show, I was like, oh, it's kind of mid. But when I rewatched that episode again, I was like, you know what? This is camp. Like, this was fun. You could tell that they enjoyed the performance. I liked it for what it was. I do, I do. So I have to mention it. It deserves a little bit more appreciation. You know, they had better hip hop routines. Hip hop wasn't their strong suit, but you know, just the enjoyment of the performance and how camp it was, I have to stand. I'm sorry. Next up, we got Gold Digger. This was also from season three. And what I really liked about this was Rochelle Rack choreographed this. And so Paige was basically the lead of this group dance i thought it was a different style than they typically do i think that they all rocked it and so it was just a lot of fun to watch so i had to have that moment next up we got broken dolls this is from season four this was a ballet routine and chloe does unfortunately fall in this routine but it doesn't ruin the routine as people pointed out it's called broken dolls so her falling it was kind of like on brand for the routine and i just really liked it i thought that they all looked super sharp i really liked the ballet technique i liked the music i really liked the costumes like it was just a really cool routine and re-watching it i was like you know what i didn't give it enough appreciation the first time so i wanted to mention it Next up, we got America Gone. This is from season four. I like this group a lot. I like this group a lot. You know, watching it, I was like, this is absolutely stunning. So I had to throw it in. Nothing to fear but fear itself. This is another one from season four. And so this was basically just the one about like different fears and the way that they all incorporated it and like their individual parts were outstanding. And then whenever they danced as a group, I really liked it, you know, and re-watching it again, I was just like, this is absolutely incredible. Got to be one of the best group dances for that season. I had to throw it in this video this is and then there was one this is from season seven so this is the one that aaron babs did for them and so i just thought that this was absolutely incredible like just the way that they moved all the way throughout it i thought that the concept of it was super cool absolutely loved it next up we got the upside down this is from season seven this is mdp group dance chloe was dancing with them for a little bit so she was the lead in this routine even our sister claire was in it i thought it was super cool i thought she held up well and i liked the concept of it a lot next up i got monster under my bed by mdp this was from season five i thought this was a really fun dance whenever i watched it again definitely one of the best dances to ever be on the show aaron bob's choreography is always really great so i really liked it next up is the bow this is from season seven another ballet routine kalani was like the lead in this routine absolutely stunning i thought all the rest of them did great like i said cameron's really underrated so i really enjoyed it i thought the music was stunning and then the ballet teacher i believe daniel is the one who choreographed this so they did a great job with this they really did i liked it a lot next up this is blush and bashful so this is one where it's like it was underrated by me i think i always liked it but watching again i was like this is stunning i'm pretty sure they got a perfect score for this it was deserved and then last up i got body and soul so this is one from season eight and so yeah i really really loved it i thought that they all did a great job and a lot of times i feel like they don't really dance as a team but here they really did they were all confident they owned it and that makes such a big difference so those are dance moms dances i felt like were really underrated let me know if you agree with any of my picks down below are there any that you feel was underrated and let's continue that conversation i think i'm going to do a part two because there's some more that i really wanted to talk about but i feel like i had a lot for part one so i'll do a part two at some point i am sure if you wanted to see more dance moms content i've done a bunch of videos i just recently posted like an hour-long compilation of some funny moments from dance mom even some niche ones that you wouldn't know unless you like just watched that episode i shared my favorite chloe solos my favorite maddie solos and i have a bunch of other stuff to check out like i reviewed every single season of the show basically and so it'll be linked down below in the description at the end of this video but yeah let me know what you guys think and let's continue that conversation this was really fun to